How oh, you want to talk about? We. He often forgets that we are a couple. Hello. <laughs> so forever, when you see your million dollar idea being done by somebody else, just because you procrastinate. Luck, luck means preparation. Right, that's it. We not. We don't want to die. We always say that we don't want to. Uh, thank you, Dr. Miles Monroe. He said we don't want to die full. We want to die empty. <laughs> Yo, it's your boy, LJ Chaplin, with Lady Season. Bringing to you Chillin' with the Chaplains, where we deep dive, giving you practical concepts in ministry, business, relationship, and personal development. So, we can take control of our life. Let's go, and let's get it started. Welcome to Chillin' with the Chaplains. I'm LJ with the one and only, my lovely wife, Lady Cedar. She's in the building. Yes. You know we're about that vibe each and every week. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got me. So today, tonight, we want to talk about uh, turn your idea into a business. Mm, sounds good. Yes. Turn your idea into a business because you got some ideas. You know, there's a business in you. There's some skills in you. You know, and a couple of weeks ago, we said you got to jump. Yes. And so, you know, we want to be able to know what to do with the idea that we have. Right. And so, I want to, I just, we, I just want to talk about, you know, how. Oh, you want to talk about? We. <laughs> he often forgets that we are a couple. Hello. <laughs> yes. We yeah. want to get into those heads. You know, yes. there is an idea that you've been thinking about, dreaming about, talking about to your friends, yes. but you're just not taking the initiative yes. and just running with it. Yes. Guess what? If you don't do it, somebody else is going to Somebody do it. else would. And, and because of technology, mm. you know, it opened up the doors for a lot of different things. So we have no excuse to be in a we can launch our ideas. Maybe you don't what know. What do you mean you don't have an excuse? I mean, I could say, I don't have the resources. I don't have the funds. Um, I don't know where to start. Yes, I have an idea, but how do I get it started? Well, that's what we want to bring this podcast tonight. Just so we want to give you some tips, some tools, so that you know what to do. All next. right. Once you got the idea, so that somebody else don't come along. And steal your idea. Because that won't be a good thing. No. Listen, you will hate yourself forever when you see your million dollar idea being done by somebody else just because you procrastinated. Just because you procrastinated, yes. And so we just want to help y'all so that you, you'll start taking action. And so, number one, the first thing you want to do with that idea that you have, you need to register it. Mm. You have to register it, you have to trademark. You had to patent the idea. So what do you mean by that? Just elaborate. Yes. You want to make it legit. You want to make that... that so idea. an idea, not a business, not a um, a, lo a logo. You ha you, you sa you're saying... A business. You, you want to turn that business into a... You want to turn that idea into a business by... If you have an idea that you want to start, maybe you have the name. You have the name... You know what kind of product you want to a product or service mm -hmm. you want to sell or you want to um, bring to your audience. Yeah. You know you have that already. So now you want to register the business. Right. You either want to register, get an LLC, uh, or you want to trademark. So you register it before you even get started. Yes, you mm -hmm. want. So even if the even if. The business, it, it, even if you don't start the business for a year or two, okay. you just want to register so that nobody else don't get it. Mm. You know, and even if you don't have the specifics. Yes, even if you don't have all the specific, you want to register as well as you know when you start register, you want to start because the longer your business is registered, the better it is for you when you want to get business credit. Mm. Cause now when they when they the, the it's it, they. Banks and all, they, they look at 
how long your business was in existence. Oh. So even so if it doesn't matter if it was making money or not. Exactly. It does not matter because your business is still being established every year. So even if you don't use it till a year later, but it's still been you still been open for a year. Mm. And so now you could for for you to be able to establish with a bank or establish credit, it takes it, you have to be in business for two years. Okay. You have to be in. So what you're doing, you want to just you want to just register it on um, that business, that LSC, so that you can start um, building your 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 equity, mm -hmm. your business, so that um, when you're ready to start, you know, asking for funds from a bank, you know, you you've been you it shows that it been open for a while. But you, you're touching on really really good points there, because in my mind, I always thought that you register a business when you you're up and running and things are, are are in the pipeline. So you're actually telling us that you re, you, can, you must register the business before before yes. just to protect your just to brand protect, yes to protect, and to your, protect brand. your idea yes because whilst you're working on the processes, um, somebody could take somebody it could take it yes or somebody could steal it yes. So this could be a business or a service a or service. even. A name. A name, mm -hmm. yes. So even like with this podcast, before we started the podcast, I made sure it, um, we registered, we trademarked the name mm. so that nobody can use the name. Because I want to raise this. There's now a lucrative business of people taking people's names, names. brands that are yes. well established but have not been uh, protected. Protected, put it yes, that way. yes. So... People are actually taking those names and buying them, buying them and, and then registering resell them. Yeah, and then, and then they it. know that you've made, you've created a brand out of it. Yeah. It would be hard for you to let that brand go because you've built the brand. They deliberately steal your brand. They, yes, they deliberately steal Just so that name. you can yeah. come back to them and say, can I buy my brand back? Because it will be hard to restart my brand. Yes. And, and, and that is smart. Business, business, but very sly business. Yes. So in order for us to protect ourselves from those crooks, because that's what they are. Yeah. You have to just, you know, protect yourself from the beginning. Yes, and and you want to do things the right way. So you want to hire an attorney. Mm. You want to make sure you have a, a but CPA. But that requires money. You want to make sure you have a CPA and attorney on your team. Um, as well as like you said, to register the business, you get you can get like a legal zoom. Okay. You can use like legal, legal zones where you don't have to pay the whole day at one time. You can make. Three, I guess that's in America. Because yeah, in I don't, America. I don't know if South Africa. Has I, don't, I don't know, but they probably have something. Yeah, they probably have something like legal zone, but you have to do your research. What is legal zone? Just, just elaborate on that. Legal zone, just a legal. It's not a. It's like a legal service that 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 where you could go to to register your business or trademark your name. Oh, at a cheaper rate. At a cheaper rate. Okay. It's not really a cheaper rate, but they work with you because you could do like installments, mm. so you don't have to pay that. Lump some money at I one time. I think we have something like that as well. I forgot the name, but I think we have something like that. If you go to an attorney, if That's it a costs lot of money. if it costs a thousand dollars to register your name, or they even sixteen hundred, or even sixteen hundred, they want everything up front. Yeah. But if you go to a company like LegalZoom, you can make installments. Mm. You can make like maybe three payment, three 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 loans. Because their intention is to help small. Businesses. It's to help, yes, yeah, small businesses. Gotcha. And you don't have to do everything. Some things you could do yourself, like right. in, in the U.S. You can um get an EIN number yourself because it's free. Mm. So all you gotta do is go to the um the IRS and and read it and, and get. And we have, we have Doctor Google, you know, just go yes. to Doctor Google or yeah. YouTube University, YouTube University and just type, type in how type, to register yeah, a name. How there to register is information out there, but you just got to do yeah. the digging. Yeah, she got the, the research. Do, yeah, she got to do your the, research. The research because it's not really research. But at least it's it's a start. It's a start. Yeah. Yes, and so it doesn't matter if you not plan on starting a business a year, two years but from just now. Just protect your just brand. Just protect your brand, gotcha. as well as you want to establish that longevity, so that when you want to um, start establishing business credit mm. and, and you want to um, a loan. Um, I love yeah. that because I've never looked at it that way. Okay, because in my mind, and I think in minds of many people um, who are watching us, they thought that you got to get it running and it has to bring in income before it's actually recognized as a business that can get credit, that can, you know, get get financing and stuff. So yeah, that's a, that's a great point. Yes, right? and another thing too, when you register the business, make sure you have a, a virtual address. A virtual address. So you can't use your home 
address, mm -hmm. address or it's, your apartment, whatever. No, you, you want to have a virtual address. And a virtual address normally about $50. It, it makes your business more credible. So what, what explain what virtual address means because I'm a, a, lot, a little lost. A virtual address is just an address that's not yours. You don't have to be in the building for say, but you're using a virtual address. Just so, to, how does it feature in in, in being your, your your address for your business? Because you get mail there. Oh, so you can actually rent an address. Yes, rent an address, an address mm -hmm. and you, and all your mail going to that virtual mailbox. So, what's wrong with it having using your home address versus renting an address? Because when you're trying to establish business credit and you want to get a loan. They're gonna, they're gonna, banks gonna, they, when they see your address, they're gonna like, it's not a real business. So not you wanna be true. more, yes, you wanna be more credible, so you use a different address from your home address. Uh -huh. So can you use a friend's address? Does it, does it have to be like a business setting? A, a business setting it address. It, it, but it should not be residential. It should not be residential. Not All it's, right. I think we've covered a bit of that, and I think I, I understand. And I'll be asking questions on your behalf as well. But also for myself, because some of the things I'm hearing them for the first time, and it is a learning curve for all of us. So I think we can jump onto point number number two, yes. where we're saying set up. Now this is my favorite, my favorite <laughs> part because I love social media. Social media has actually built my brand, or is still building my brand to a certain extent. I have over six thousand followers on Instagram. You go go, <laughs> heading for that ten thousand. So follow me. Yes, yes, yes. I'm still building this, so I'm I'm, I'm not even close to that. Yeah. But one thing that I've just recently learned, which we're going to talk about now, is what we said, set up your business, your social media business accounts and make it public. public. Okay. So um, for that, you know, yes, it's mine have always been public. Well, for the most part, when, when I started, you know, using it for business purposes, because people don't understand that social media is great business. Great business. Great business. I've just recently met... A lady who's an influencer and a professional influencer on, 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 on Instagram. Yeah. I'm like, what do you do? Oh, I'm, I'm an influencer. I'm like, those things are for real? She's like, yeah, I get paid good money for just posting on social media. So how was she seen by sponsors and by people who partnered with her is that her account was public. Yes, so you and, and it was and it was a and it was a and, business account, and professional account. And it was a business account. So one thing that and I learned for personal use. was that because my my Instagram has, has been personal for the longest of time, until of course my uh, smart husband told me to make it public. No, 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 no not make not a public. professional make business, it a professional account business, business account. account. Because that helps with the analytics. analytics. You can see the insights and the analytics. Of who clicked where who clicked, and how who and where they're it, from and so, and who, so who forth. Who engaged, what content is getting them more trash in. Because that's what uh, sponsors will be looking at. Yes. If, you're, if your posts are not engaging, you're not drawing in attention, you're not getting much likes, uh, then most likely you won't get any person, no, you won't get anybody who would want to partner with you. But if your uh your, your posts are getting traction then sponsors will reach out and want to partner with you yes yes so definitely and and and, and because like i said before years ago in the 90s and um in in the 90s it was when you want to start a business you you know you have to the only way you can promote your business you got to do flyers go the market no more of that thank god you got to do uh <laughs> Um, uh, you got to pay for Oh, Adam. by the way, how do you like our little cards? <laughs> we improving at one episode at a time. I think I like them. So, yeah, if you can't. Yes, so you, you have to pay for advertising, commercials. That was that was in the 90s. But because of social media and and, to, and, to, and technology, now you don't have to do guerrilla marketing anymore. You know, it's, it's now. Guerrilla marketing is not a bad exhausting. thing. And that was exhausting. It is exhausting. You don't have to do um, television um, no more. Well, you can. You can, okay, but, but it's not the only thing. It's not way. the only thing. Yeah. With social media, it's even better. And mostly free. And it's, and mostly, mostly it's better free. than... They are paid uh, ads, which I didn't know about until yeah. I got into social media. It is paid ads. They are paid ads. Some of the ads that you see on your feed, somebody actually pay for them for you to see. Yes, 
And before you, if you're going to use paint ads, you just don't want to paint ads without doing your research as well. Mm. Because sometimes, if you don't know what you're doing, Facebook, Instagram would just take your money. Yeah. <laughs> they would just they take, so you got to, you also got to, you got to study the, uh, the Facebook ads, about Facebook ads, Instagram ads, so that you ain't to know how to uh, promote your product on the But the bottom line of this is that get your social media going. Yes, set up, um, a, uh, yes. And also, I think I would like to add that be active as well. Yeah. Be consistent with your with your posting, be, I mean, with your blogging, with your interaction with other people, especially people that you want to collaborate with, people that you want to partner with, people that you would love to, to have um, partnerships with. Yeah. I've already said that. People that, <laughs> but even people that, you know, who are, is your target market. Yes. People that you, you feel they can be your customers as well. Interact with them. Go and like their posts. Go and comment. Yes. You know, get, get, get in their space because when you like and comment somebody's uh, post, guess what? Social media will most likely show them your next post yes. and your next post. But if you don't, you're one of those people who used to be like my husband. You just scroll and look at what people are doing <laughs> and you don't like, you don't, you don't comment. Then that's why you have to go look for the person's yeah, for post versus them just popping up on your, oh, yes, on your yes. feed. Yes. Yeah, so yes. It's critical that you interact with other people that you, you want to be in your yes. social media circle. And so that definitely went to the point for create content to promote the business. Yeah. You know, and I just came from the barbershop today and I was telling yeah. my barber, you know, he, you know, start using, you know, when you, when, when you, Take it when you get a um shout out to to Doc <laughs> Uncle Doc for the barber shop. Shout out to Doc um uh, from Jersey. So I was telling him, you know, to 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 get out there. Every time you cut somebody here, take their pictures. Yeah. And every and every picture with their permission, of course. With their permission, yes, of course. But most of the time you cut their hair. A lot of times, you know, they don't mind mm. um you taking their pictures and and start. Creating contact with them images. Mm. Take multiple, take multiple images, mm. multiple um uh, uh, um size, size, yeah. multiple angles. Take multiple angles, and every day you use those different images to create content, so that people see what you're doing. Yes. And so, if you're a cook, if you if you want to, you know, you got dishes, you know, start taking pictures of your dishes. Mm. Start taking pictures of what because you do. Because people want to see. You, they they want to see what you do. Yeah. Yes. But they also want to see. They want to see what you do. There's this thing called uh, touch, feel, and taste. Mm -hmm. So people want to do that, and I think it takes us to our next point, which is create a website. Create a website. Because all of this content that you've created can now be a fully fleshed website, website. and it's easier to create a great website when you have images. Images. Yes. Because some people are uh, not even some people. It's 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 better when most people are visuals, right? Yes, most and, people. And, and and something that's a visual is more memorable than just theory. Than people theory. are lazy to read. Yes. So remove the reading, less writing, and more pictures. More pictures. Yes. More pictures. And so and 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 and, and design a and design a logo. Design mm. a logo. Design. You know. Make it look professional. Make it look professional. You might and, not even have started like officially or professionally. In fact, you can go check out my my, um, website. my website. You know, I've just spoken once professionally. Yeah, I said once, right? <laughs> but I've got a fully fledged running website. website. Yes. You know, because I'm taking my my speaking career seriously now. And of course, when people ask, "Do you have a website? Where can I check you out? Where can I see your other speaking engagements?" Because I, I I do. I unfortunately I was able to record a few informal ones that I did. Um, so I do have even like a reel that shows off my work. So you got to take your craft seriously, seriously, you know, so that's why I, 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 um, I did my, my, my website professionally go and check it out. www.caesarchaplin. Yes, I'm a brand go caesarchaplin.com. And I'm actually working right now on a speaker sheet, one, yes. a one sheet thingy, because that's what's required. Yes, that's what required. So you've got to do your due diligence and research 
what's required in your craft, yes. what's required in the business that you want to offer or in the service that you want to offer. Don't just sit back and think things will happen the yes. for themselves. Yes. You've got to go out there and, 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 and do it. Yes, and, and the thing is, whatever niche you have, mm. research other companies, research other properties. Yes, and you how have, they do it. How they do it. You look at a, another website design. See how they see how they design their website. See what kind of um, content text they use, and you just critique yes. that fits your content, that fits your product. So definitely do your research. And there's so many freelance um, freelancers yes. who would help you with creating web websites. Yes. It's no longer crazy expensive to yes, create a website. It's not, yes, it's no longer. You remember how expensive it used to be? Yes. To charge six hundred dollars, crazy yeah. amounts of money. Now you can create a website under two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, yeah. You know, even cheaper depending on what you get done. Yes, the amount of pages you want. If you're yeah. just doing a, a, landing, a page. landing page, that's even much cheaper. But if you're doing like you have a couple of pages, it could cost you just a little over a hundred dollars. But then you know, the freelancers out there, we can actually give you a lot of our plans, yes. which is Fiverr. Fiverr. Go to Fiverr. Yes. You know, those are a, a lot of freelancers. Who can do a great job for your for your for website? Your, for your website, yeah. and they do great professional jobs. Yeah. So you know some 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 job, and that's the beautiful thing about this. Some jobs you can be outsourced. Mm. You know, and that's what it, some jobs you don't have to stay in house. You know, in especially fact, while I, you do. I, I would say that outsource anything. That's outsource a everything. That you yes, don't have. that you don't, don't have. Don't try and waste your time because I remember you when you used to build your own website. Yes. Yes, you did a great job. <laughs> I did a good job. But it yeah. took forever. It took forever. Yes. It you know, took forever. Something that a professional could have done within a day or two, for him it took a month. It took a month. Because, yeah. you know, he's learning on the job. And that's you taking up your time. <laughs> yeah, your time and, is and just something remember, else. Remember, time is money. Time is money. So just outsource the skill. That's why we always say, Keep your job if you can, because that job will be able to be the one that that um allow you to pay the bills. Right, not just the bills, but to fund your They'll business. They'll fund your business, yes. Because all these little things they need money. They somehow. add up, yes. Yeah, they add up. even for us, like we don't edit our own videos because no. we don't know how to edit. Will we know in the future? Probably yes. We're gonna learn, but we've got a wonderful guy that we work yes, with. Yes, we got a wonderful who guy. Who does a great job great for guy, us. Great guy, yes. We're paying him. Uh, from our own pockets because the, the podcast is not making money yet. But guess what? He does a brilliant job. We're happy with him. And because we're not experts, he's an expert. Why not let him do Why it? Why not let him do it? Yes. Shout out to our guy. Yes, shout out to our guy. And so, you know, and that, that's what you want to do. You want to start doing these different things so that you start building. Yes. Build a website because as you promote yourself and as you, you know, you got this social media, um, you're creating content. You need somewhere that people to go to. Absolutely. You need somewhere. And the reason why, some, you, you, you ever see people that go viral and then they go broke? Mm -hmm. Or they and go they viral and, and, and they, the momentum. Yeah, they, 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 they had their one night of shine, they, yeah. they, they, they won their fame. 15 minutes of fame. 15 minutes of fame. But and they, they didn't ride no the more. wave. They didn't ride the like, wave. Well, how do you ride the wave? You monetize. You monetize. You monetize. You they have like somewhere that. that people to go to. Yes. You have, and that's why you're setting up these things little by little mm. by little by little. Because there's seriously nothing called luck. Yeah. You know, luck is actually it's prepared opp uh, is an opportunity. Opportunity meets it's preparation. Preparation, yes. Luck, luck meets preparation. Right, that's it. Luck just meets preparation because when 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 something breaks or hits. If you have things lined up already, it's easy for you to just fly. Fly. Yeah. Much easier. Yeah. And so yeah, you want to you want to create this content, and then you want to begin to analyze the data to mm -hmm. determine what's working or what's not working. Yeah. And that's why you want your your social media to be on professional. Yes. To be on, on the business, business account yeah. so that you can start analyzing the data. You want to see what's working. And what's not, not working. Yeah. So that if it's not if something's not working, scrap it. Yeah. Change it. Leave it alone. Let it go. Or even pivot. Yeah. Or, or pivot. Or, 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 or alter it somehow. Mm -hmm. Edit. Like do something that will make it attractive, attractive to the audience that you're trying to attract. Yes. Or to make it work. You know, um, if it means you add a little bit of spice or whatever, do that. 
Because you don't want to stick to something that's not working. Yes. You yes. want something that will work and will end up making you money. Yes. Because it's all about that Benjamin. Because what yes. you're doing, at the end of the day, you, 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 you're looking to build your culture. Mm -hmm. You're looking to um, build your culture with the people um, who, who value your, your, um, your, your product or your Absolutely. service. And yeah. so leave, even like with me, I believe in doing things professionally done the right way you know even with the website and things like that i had things set up mm. ahead of time and i'm just now also getting a professional right and so in, the last one is get feedback mm. so who are you getting feedback from you're getting feedback from the people who you want to promote to who the people your your audience um. social media the inner analysts um you you ask it you know that's why you you Promoting, you go on live, mm -hmm. you you know, and you just just like when we on doing this podcast, we ask even ask and we ask for your feedback, we ask for your reviews. It helps us to create better content. It helps us to see what you listen to. That you know, that's why we're gonna talk about one day. You know, what what is your audience? Who your audience? Know your audience, and so that you able to you able to uh, tell your content. You able to um um. um bring out the right product or have the right service that's tailored to your audience yeah. because you don't want to waste money you don't want to just do something just to do something so that's why even like now before people uh, um launch mm. they get feedback they, they you know they throw it out there they uh, you know like they ask feedback what you i'm, I'm thinking so about we'll, doing we'll this surveys yeah do surveys like yeah i'm thinking about doing this what you think so in other words test your test, yes. Idea. Test. Put it on a test. Some people even do like test trials, and retest. Test trials. and retest. Yes. Some people do trials. Some people yeah. do. Um, there's something that I used to do back in the days. That's part of research. Um, something groups. Um, focus groups. Focus groups. Yes. Focus groups. They do focus groups to just test to if test it's gonna it. work. People like the idea or not? Because you might think it's the most brilliant idea, only to find nobody's really. No, I like it. But having said that. Some ideas seem not so brilliant to other people. Yes. Only to find that it's actually a brilliant idea. A brilliant idea. So, like you're saying, test and retest. Test and, and retest. retest. You know, different audiences, different people, because you might test with one specific audience who might not find it, uh, you know, a, a, as a good idea. Then you try the next, and they're blown away by your yes. idea. So, don't give up just yet. And I do want to say this just. Test every just to let you know, no idea is a stupid idea. Not at all. Because sometimes even the timing could be wrong. So a lot is, it, you, and you know how many stories that I heard where somebody had an idea and it, and and they brought it to the table, but they killed it. It wasn't the right time, or they launched something and then and then and then go, and then they put it on a back burner and then they brought it out five or ten years later. Mm -hmm. And now it blows so, up. So uh, my takeaway from that is just write your ideas down. And once you've tested the market, if it's the, the right time or not, because timing is everything. Time is everything, yes. Once you've tested the market and you find out, okay, this might not work right now, then you can put it in the back burner. My question would be, That's my feedback, do, you, is do you register it so, to protect it yes, at that time? Yes, or? yes, yes. It's, like, it's just like pharmaceutical companies. Mm. It might take 50, they, they, the life cycle could be 15, 20 years, but they, they patent the medicine, even though it's not out yet. Mm -hmm. What, what they doing? They testing it and they bring it back. They test it again and they bring it back. They test it again mm -hmm. and they bring it back. So it might take 15 years for them to establish it, but they already patent it. The moment they start protect, the test to protect their it. intellectual property. Yeah, to well. protect their intellectual property. They patent mm -hmm. it. And so the same thing with you. You you trademark, you patent it, you register, whatever it is. It might take some time, but that's why you're getting the feedback is critical mm -hmm. in business. You want feedback. And that's why, you know, you want to engage with your audience. Mm -hmm. I'm, if you're an introvert, for, to my introverts, you gotta learn how to. But it's easy to, now to, yeah. to engage. Yeah, so you don't have to be in front of people. You don't have to be in front of people. Yeah, so Social like, media. Yeah. Maximize it. Yes. Don't just go there to look at people's pictures and whatever yes. the lies they are putting out there. Because majority of those things are lies. Trust me. We don't put things that make us look bad on social media. We always, well, most of the time, because we have a few, a few not so great apples up there 
who puts bad stuff, yeah. you know, but you try to create that image on social media. So ride on that, yes. use that, maximize and, that. And remember again, I said, and who knows you? Mm -hmm. When you're on social media and when you comment on people's posts, when it's, a, when it's a good post, like a good comment, guess what happened? More eyes go on your comment. Why? Because you said something. You said something that profound. was profound. And when you said something profound, and other people got eyes on it, now what's gonna happen? What they gonna guess? What they are gonna do? People pay attention. They're gonna check you out. Yeah. They're gonna check out. They're gonna look at your profile. They yeah. wanna see what you do. And so that's why you wanna set up all these things. Because when you comment on other people's um, comments and posts and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff, when you are saying something, that's why you always wanna be. Uh, you wanna. Think before you post. You want to think before you comment, so that you able to say something intelligently, so that you have eyes on the on your comment. So, because, in other words, don't post for the posting. <laughs> yes. Post with intentions. Intentions, behind yes, it. intentions yes. behind it, so that you able to, you able to put some thought behind that post, behind that comment, yeah. so that they, they can look. And at I always you. say, I mean, I've, more, I've, uh, I've been finding it a bit difficult lately because of my schedule and what I'm currently doing to actually reply to everyone. If you don't get a chance to reply to people that have commented on your post, at least like it. No, love it. Love it. To show that hey, I appreciate your comment because people don't have to like and comment on your on your post. You guys don't have to like and comment on this podcast. Yes. You know, but you do, and we really, really appreciate it. So when people take their time to do that, that is why, hence, you see, we respond to probably 99%, if not 100% of all our comments. Because we appreciate you yes. doing that. And, 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 and we not just that. taking your time to do it. Yes, and not just that. When you comment on other, when you comment on your, on, on the comments, also the people that post of that comment appreciate yes. the person that commented because like, oh wow they really do care yeah. oh wow they really did yeah. they really got back at me yeah. so they really appreciate that and guess what happened they wanted to comment more yeah they want to come back again. they want to come back because again. at the end of the day you, you don't want to use your audience yes. no no you need each other yes they need you for that great content you're giving them and you need them yes. for feedback and yes. for support yes. so uh, uh, on that note, we just want to thank all of the chaplain chillers yes. for just riding with Riders. us from the from day one. We were looking. We are on video. We are 15. episode fifty. Fifty one. Yeah, this 51. is episode one. Fifty one from Sunday, Friday, and Friday episode. Isn't that incredible? But I think twenty eight for the Fridays episode. Yes, that's incredible, guys. That's incredible. And we just want to thank you. Well, I remember when we first started this, I never knew that it was going to blow up to being this big. But hey, look at us now, 51 episodes later. You know, we're almost in our 60s and we are almost in a, 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 thousand, a thousand subscribers. subscribers. And, you know, hopefully, prayerfully, that we will achieve that before the end of June. So just keep riding with us. Keep coming with us. We really, really appreciate yes. you. Yes. And continue to share our posts yes so i mean even our our videos so that people can also see it and subscribe yes we love those of you who are watching us but we are realizing that majority of the people that are watching us are actually not even subscribing that's how you're gonna help us grow yes. so that more people will see what you are seeing subscribe yes. it's free you don't pay a penny you don't pay any penalties just do it. Yes, and I, I do want to say this too about, you know, because the, we do got audience in South Africa and other parts of the world. So even in your parts of the world, we only talk about from the America, uh, about registered business. Um, also, you got to do your research for that area. Mm. You know, I can't speak on South Africa on how to register. But you have to do But I mean, research. it's similar. What we spoke similar, about yeah. is quite general. And, yeah. you know, speaking from the South African point of view, or even the England or whoever else that is watching us from other countries, um, you know, the, 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 the flow of business is similar. similar. Maybe a little different here and there, but it's some, everything that we spoke about, turning your ideas into a business, Seminar. It's, it's okay. Yeah. And and like I said, you can outsource a lot of different things. Yeah. So yeah. And and like the, our plug Fiverr is is, is international. International. In yes. fact, the, the the freelancers are mostly you know foreigners. Yes, mostly yeah. foreigners. Yeah. So yes, and so we we do want to say too, you know, um, if you if you want us to promote 
your brand, your product, your service, you know, uh, inbox us, mm -hmm. you know, so that, you know, we can give you the rate of what we charge and, you know, we can promote your product, your service on our platform to help you grow your business. And so, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> we, we're excited to have you as part of our family. Yes. And we just look forward to just to continue to work with you. Yes. Um, and let's just say we've come to the end of our episode. Yes. It's a great yes. pleasure we, to, to share this incredible information with you. We're growing together. We're growing and together. As we grow together. We want you, as we grow, you grow too. Yes. Let's yes. make this happen together. Let's get those ideas into money. Let's money. get those ideas into business, uh, a, a lucrative business. Not just keep your ideas in your head. Yeah. Don't keep the ideas in your head. Write because, it down and make it happen. If it's in your head, it's gonna die. We not we don't wanna die. We always say that we don't wanna uh doc, thank you, Dr. Miles Moreau. He said we don't wanna die full, we wanna die empty. Mm -hmm. So take get the idea out of your head and begin to start putting it on paper. Yeah. Yeah, implement it, yeah. Yeah, implement it for, for help. You know, there's yes. so many people who can help you out there. I mean, get thank, involved thank in the community. God for social media yep. as well. Join the community. And also, but, you know, this podcast, as you know, is sponsored by our great community. Yes, absolutely. LJ is going to explain. Yes. Get communities like that that share such information. Yes, yes. So yes. tell us about the. Yes, well, this podcast is sponsored by Nest Opportunity uh, Window, a dope, pod, a dope, a dope, a dope community that share content like this so that you really get receive nuggets so that you able to take your ideas mm -hmm. and begin to implement it and so that not just your ideas but also you able to grow as a person yes. because we believe in being holistic yes, and, <laughs> yes. Making things and making things happen so you know in, in this community we have themes daily themes mm -hmm. that you able to follow along your journey and begin to begin to de develop a habit mm -hmm. every day with these themes that you can start implementing in your life. We have challenges, we have webinars, we have masterminds. So there's a lot of different things that you can take advantage of this community. And so, and as well as you get the network, you get to share, yeah. you know, different ideas and 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 and, and see what other people um and, are doing, and they to see what you're doing, and y'all just engage it, and we everyone just engage and going back and forth, so that everyone's able to learn and be able to get tips. So you know, like I said, we we do give you a seven day free trial. Yeah. We just saying date us. Yeah. Seven days. See if you like us. If you like the community, you like what you're getting, there's no pressure. We said you can stay after that seven days. You you like us, you can stay, and you will be charged $9.99 after. And you will be charged on a monthly basis, $9.99. And so, that, yeah, we, and so we said join, be a part of the family. As you can tell, LJ is very passionate. <laughs> yes, about very passionate. It. So do come because, and join us. Because I'm, I am an introvert, introvert, and 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 I know what a community does for me. I mean, by being involved with different communities, the i the 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 the, the ideas, the different um, information I'm getting that I would have never gotten if I wasn't part of this uh, part of uh, the community I'm involved in. I would have never got the information that I have now. Yeah. And so that's why I'm grateful for my community and I'm trying to bring it to um, the Chopper and Chillers, you know, so that you're able to learn from me and be able to um, take your business to the next level. Yeah. And so we say subscribe to the channel, um, Chilling with the Chaplains, like us, comment on the on the channel. Um, we, you can follow us. At Ladies is one on Instagram and LJ. You can follow me at Get Inspired by LJ on Instagram as well as on YouTube. And you can listen to the audio version on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, and uh, 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 Apple Podcasts. I said Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Amazon Music. And like I said, give us a five-star rating, leave us a view, as well as um, follow us. And so, uh, by doing that, you definitely help us to continue to grow the channel and so that the channel, more ears and more eyes to come to the channel 
and more people to follow us. We just thank you for um. Before we in. thank you, we would like you to follow us on all social media. Yes, all social media platforms. You know, we all about branding. You see what I do uh, every day. We all about branding. You can follow us on all social media platforms. Chilling with the chaplains. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. We take care. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. Yo, it's your boy, LJ Chaplin with Lady Season. Bringing to you Chilling with the Chaplains, where we deep dive, giving you practical concepts in ministry, business, relationship, and personal development. So, we can take control of our life. Let's go and let's get it started.